Woohoo! Time to check out my latest dish haul. <coughs> Greetings peeps, Mitch Hightower here, coming to you from San Francisco, California. Woot woot! And today, like I said earlier, it's a dish haul. And it's not an unboxing particularly because these didn't originate where I purchased them in a box. It wasn't something I ordered online. It did not arrive at the front door like what we usually see here when I do an unboxing style video. So hence, that's why I called it a haul video. Anyway, what happened here is this. I was checking out Facebook Marketplace, as I often do, and we don't usually see Fiesta Ware here in San Francisco. For those of you who are new to our show, you may not already know that Philip and I collect Fiesta dishes, also commonly known as Fiesta Ware, and we're always on the lookout for something that's less than retail price, because while these dishes are I think reasonably priced, even at full price. For some budgets, they could still be expensive. And so we always want to be able to get as great of a deal as we can, so we can collect as many dishes as possible, of course. You know, I mean, we can only eat off one or two plates at a time, but that doesn't mean that we don't need 20. So, uh -huh. I can't wait to show you what we got. So anyway, I was perusing Marketplace on Facebook and I saw a listing for San Francisco, which like I said before, is very rare around here. So I immediately was drawn to it because primarily of the colors of the pieces included in the collection that was for sale. Three of the four colors were colors that are discontinued, and two of those three discontinued colors were discontinued quite a while ago, so they are very hard to find on the secondary market. That's what primarily drew me to this. And then as soon as I showed the listing to Philip and he saw the colors, he said, collar, 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 collar. <laughs> so I did. And her was a very pleasant person. And she had these dishes for sale because she was moving out of San Francisco. And so we took them off her hands for her asking price of $50. And there were 15, well, there are 15 pieces in this collection. And so that works out to a little more than $3 per piece, which is comparable to what you might pay if you can find Fiesta Ware at a thrift store. Some people I know from our association in a couple of Facebook groups that are for Fiesta collectors seem to find Fiesta in the thrift stores where they live all the time. Here in San Francisco, I've only found Fiesta in a thrift store once, and that was just recently, a few months ago. And just recently, a few months ago? Okay, it was a few months ago. So for me, that's recent because my history of shopping in San Francisco thrift stores for 40 years, that was a really long wait, okay? <laughs> so anyway, enough about that. So I have this box here full of 15 pieces of Fiesta. I believe, according to my research, that this was all sold as a set, even though each place setting is one, uh, is different colors, one of each of four different colors, I should say. And so this, this likely originated as a set, though you could have also have put this together yourself by buying individual place settings in different colors. This, to me, though, looks like a color combination that was put together uh, either by Fiesta or by the department store that sold this particular set of dishes. So with no further ado, let's get to opening this package. Okay, let's see, I told you about how I acquired these dishes on Facebook Marketplace, and now I'm going to tell you about, well, I'm gonna show you what we got. What happened was, is once I made the association with the Marketplace seller, we agreed on a time and met at a public location that was safe for everyone. And so that way people don't have to give you their personal address and things like that. And we took care of uh, negotiating the transaction all over uh, Facebook text messaging, so it also didn't require giving your phone number to strangers, which I thought worked out pretty well. So when the seller brought the dishes to us, they were in a bag all stacked up. So uh, of course, that's not how I would treat my dishes, and that's why you're not gonna see these dishes coming out of a bag for this video. Uh, as soon as I got my hands on them, I took them out of the bag and put them into something a little more appropriate. But anyway, uh, we knew that there were a few condition issues, and I'll show you that, because these dishes are at least 
12 and more likely 15 years old. And I can tell that not only from the date stamps or the code stamps on the back of the plates themselves, but because of the colors involved, there's one color in this collection called Evergreen, which is a very, very deep shade of green. And it was only manufactured excuse me, manufactured from 2007 to 2010. So it wasn't around very long. So because this set contains evergreen, it was manufactured somewhere around that time and likely sold within that time frame as well because the evergreen was a very popular color even though it didn't last in the line very long. So blah, blah, blah. Let's get on with looking at the dishes. Okay, we're gonna start out now. Like I told you, there's uh, four place settings and originally these were four piece place settings, which meant a dinner plate, a salad plate, a soup bowl, and a ring-handled coffee mug. Now there are only 15 pieces but four place settings, so that means something is missing. And I already know what that is. It's the plum ring-handled mug. Apparently uh, the seller told us that got broken somewhere along the way and unfortunately the seller did not still have the pieces because I would have taken those off their hands as well as you know. Uh, broken dishes do not have to be thrown in the garbage and if you've missed our past video about how to upcycle broken dishes using a rock tumbler be sure and check that out I'll put a link up here in the corner and there's probably going to be a graphic flyby right now that the editor will put in the editor meaning me <laughs> so you look, look for that video if you haven't seen it before because you do not have to throw bro broken pieces of beautiful china in the garbage there are several ways to repurpose broken dishes so let's get on with it I've said that like how many times now three or four or Five. let's check out what's in this box and just so you know if you're new here and you haven't seen how we do this we also have a close-up camera it's right down over here hello close-up camera okay so we're gonna go to the close-up camera every once in a while so you can see these lovely goodies up close and personal okay so I'm gonna go over here to this box which is quite heavy because like I said there's four place settings in here so I'm just gonna leave the box here rather than toss it all about like I sometimes do and I'll reach over and grab one piece at a time to show you what we've got so I'm going to start at the top of the stack and as you can see here we have a lovely turquoise bowl let me show you this on the close-up cam right down over here close-up cam close-up cam and this turquoise bowl is usually called the coop soup bowl it holds 19 ounces and this has been a shape that's been in the line for a very very long time and it comes in absolutely every color that they make this is a great bowl for not only for soup but for cereal we put candy in here this can hold chips i mean this is a great all around, all purpose bowl, and it's very durable, and I just love the contour and the shape of it. This is actually Philip's very favorite bowl out of all the different styles of Fiesta Ware bowls that we have. So whenever I find these cool 19 ounce coupe soup bowls, I grab them, even if we already have, we already have a turquoise ones, even if we already have it, you can never have too many of these. So now this, the condition of this actually looks pretty good. There's a couple of little scratch marks in the bottom of, otherwise there are no chips, no cracks, no crazing. This looks really good. So I'm very, very pleased with the condition of this bowl. So let's put this aside right for now. And there's three more bowls in this stack. So let's have a look. Ooh, guess what's coming up next? Plum! This is a supremely deep shade of purple. Let me show you on the close-up cam right over here. Let's go down to the close-up cam. There we go. Okay, there's our plum coupe soup bowl. Now this is actually, considering that this piece is probably about 15 years old, it's in pretty good shape. There are a few little scratch marks around the bottom in the glossy glaze, and that's to be expected for dishes that people actually used rather than just left sitting on a shelf to look pretty. So I'm okay with a few little scratches in the bottom. By the time this is full of chips or soup or chili, no one will ever know there's a few scratches in the bottom of it. And there aren't any chips around the rim. Uh, these are actually really durable dishes, so you have to bang them really hard to get them to chip or break. So I'm very pleased to have this. Uh, plum bowls like this, like I said, this has been discontinued since I believe about 2015. So this is not especially an easy color to come by. It was very popular during its time and it is even more popular now in the secondary market since it's become harder and harder and harder to find. So I was very pleased that we are able to acquire a lovely plum bowl. We have a couple other pieces of plum and there's a uh, salad plate over here that's brand new and I'll, I'll tell you why I have that on the set when we get to the salad plates. Anyway, plum coupe soup bowl, lovely. I love everything about it. 
Now, I usually don't stack dishes without something in between, so I don't know why I'm doing that now. Uh, probably because it looks prettier on the set than this does, right? Yeah, so I think we'll just go with it. It's okay, these are durable enough to stack, but I will tell you that when I put things away in our kitchen cabinets, I have foam between every bowl and every plate and anything else that stacks, just to try to cut down on what's called shelf wear. If you're not a dish collector, shelf wear is what happens when you pull things in and out and scrape the bottom of the dish on top of the plate underneath it, and that can create scratches and wear over time. So in order to try to prevent that, I like to put pads between all the dishes in the cabinet. Okay, we've still got two more bowls to go because this is a four-piece place setting. So next, as far as I'm concerned, is the piece de resistance when it comes to the color. Hello, here's the dark green known as evergreen that I was mentioning earlier. Let me show you this on the close-up cam. Okay, we're down here on the close-up cam. Now you can see why I'm ooing and aahing over this color. I think this is an absolutely luscious shade of green, and I like it that it's so deep and rich and intense. This was only part of the line from 2007 to 2010, like I said, so only three or four years. I have no idea why. Usually they take things out of the line when they don't sell. I don't know why this wouldn't sell. Everyone I know that collects Fiesta Ware seeks out this evergreen shade of uh, this evergreen shade of glaze, and uh, I wish we had more pieces. This is actually, we have one, let's see, no wait, two pieces of evergreen already. And this is the third, and then there's a little bit more in here in this box, and we'll get to that. So, a lovely evergreen coupe soup bowl. I'm so happy to have that. And as you can see, these colors, I'll show you all four of them in the stack on the close-up cam as soon as we get the other one out of the box. They all really look really good together, and that's why I'm pretty sure this was part of a set to begin with. So, anyway, our last but not least... Ooh, cobalt blue. This is a very deep, rich shade of blue. Let's take a look at this on the close-up cam. There you have it, cobalt blue. Now this color was just discontinued in 2021 and replaced with a new shade called Twilight, which is not quite as dark blue as this. They're both equally beautiful, but they are different. Now this bowl, this, is, this looks like to me it's in reasonably good shape. There's no chips or crazing or any damage from using citrus dishwasher detergent on them. There's a few little scratches, but nothing that we can't live with. And speaking of the, di the dishwasher and dishwasher detergent, if you're not a Fiesta collector, you might not already know this, but if you are, you might, or if you're new to Fiesta Ware, you might need to know this. Uh, it's perfectly okay to put Fiesta Ware in the dishwasher, but you wanna make sure that you don't use dishwasher detergent that has any kind of citrus element at all, because what that will do over time was cause what's called crazing on this glaze, and it bas basically makes the glossy glaze turn really supremely dull and not nearly as attractive as it would be if it hadn't come in contract with a contact with citrus detergents. So what that means is if you see dishwasher detergent that's lemon fresh or something like that, you wanna stay away from those type of products. And also on the boxes of dishwasher detergent themselves, they do list the ingredients. So if you see anything in the ingredients in the way of citric acid or any other type of citrus element, you wanna stay away from those kinds of detergents because that will definitely uh, that will stress, let's say, the finish of your beautiful glossy china. So there you have it. Some people I know that collect Fiesta only hand wash their dishes. Since we use our Fiesta every day, uh, we only usually hand wash the pieces that don't easily fit into the dishwasher, like say, for example, maybe a really large platter or our gravy boat. We wash those by hand, but bowls like this is perfectly fine to put them in the dishwasher with detergent that does not contain any citric acid or any other citrus elements. Okay, there, enough about that. There, so there you have it. Now I told you that once we got these into a stack, I would show you how these colors all look together. So let's take a look at this in the close-up cam, right down over here. Ooh, ah, oh. I think all these colors look so good together. I could totally see myself setting the table in this color scheme if we have four guests all at the same time, which we sometimes do. So now some people I know are like, well, wait, the table is set with dishes and all of the plates aren't the same color. Ah, 
Oh, okay. Well, I don't know where anyone gets the idea that they have to have every single plate on the table be exactly the same color because at our house, sometimes we like to mix it up a little bit. So speaking of mixing it up, let's see what else is in this box. Now I did tell you that there were plates as part of these place settings. So we're going to go through and check this out. Now we've got the salad plates are coming out first. So there you have it. Let's take a look at this on the close-up cam. Salad plate, salad plate. Now these are lovely for all kinds of things. Personally, I would never serve salad on a plate. I think salad belongs in a bowl since it doesn't tend to stay in place very well while you're trying to eat it. So we actually use these plates for sandwiches, for slices of cake, uh, for muffins, all kinds of different reasons. I use them on the breakfast table a lot as a liner for my brewmate because I always keep water in my brewmate all the time. And so this works really well as a coaster, if you will, for my brewmate, so I don't make any uh, marks on our wood dining room table. So now this brewmate has actually got a nice rubber footing on the bottom, so that's not likely to happen anyway. But I kind of like this look of having things have their own coaster. So I use these salad plates a lot for that reason as well. So let's pop this baby onto the back shelf really quick. I'm gonna have to probably scoot all of this down in order for all of it to fit up there. And let's get on to the next salad plate. Okay, ooh, here we go, more plum. Let's take a look at the close-up cam. Ooh, this is awesome. Okay, so like I said earlier, this color is plum. This is a supremely deep shade of purple. And one of the things about the supremely deep colors of Fiesta Wear is they do tend to show scratches a lot more easily than the pastels or the lighter colors. So sometimes these darker colors tend to look a little bit more how shall we see, loved, if you will, by their owners, because these just tend to show the scratches more. There's more contrast between the dullness that the scratches create and the glossy deep glaze, and that's probably why that is. I don't think they actually scratch any easier than any other colors, but they sometimes look like they have. So now the reason that I had this other plum salad plate out here is to hopefully I can show you on the close-up cam the difference between what a new plate looks like and what a well-loved plate looks like. So let's hold this up to the close-up cam if I can get this right. I think that actually doesn't do too bad of a job of showing you what I'm talking about. This plate over here, even though this was manufactured before 2015, it has not been used. It was actually sitting in a warehouse for a long time and I picked it up from replacements.com. And this other plate over here is the one that came in the marketplace set. So this is like, I would say, thrift store quality uh, because it has a few scratches and it's a little worn. But as you can see, the originally this was a very deep, dark, glossy glaze. And after it's been used a little bit, it's not quite as shiny and glossy as it once was. But no worries, because I can make good use of this one and this one. So just so you know, like I said earlier, this whole set with these used plates costs $50. So for 15 pieces, that's a little more than $3 a piece. I bought this brand new, never before used plum salad plate on replacements.com. And this cost $20. So there's the difference. If you want something that looks brand new, even though it was manufactured several years ago, you're going to have to pay a much higher price point, most likely, than for something that's already been used or well loved in this case. But this is okay with me because we don't need everything to be perfectly brand new for our purposes. So, and I will show you how we can make good use of plates even when they're not as pretty as they once were. So there we go. Now we've got two more salad plates to grab. So let's get back into our box over here. And next we have, wah -ha. Evergreen once again. Hello. There we go. Okay, this is actually in pretty good shape. There's a few scratches on here on the surface of the plate, but not anything that we can't live with, especially for this gorgeous color. And since this color is not widely available, we'll take what we can get. So uh, Philip was very happy to see that we were able to acquire some more evergreen because it's one of his favorite colors and it's very hard to find, like I said before. Ooh, and on to the cobalt salad plate. Let's take a look down here on the close up cam. This is that same supremely lovely dark blue. Now this does have a few scratches on the surface, but I would say that's to be expected for plates that are this age and that were, were used regularly by the family that had them before we got them. But you don't see any chips around the edges and that's always a big plus in my book because I can cover this up if I have to, if it's su supremely scratched and we don't necessarily use all the plates we have just for eating off of. So let me put that in the pile. Now that does it for our four salad plates. Now we've got 
some ring handled coffee mugs to fish out, and then we have some dinner plates. So now you'll notice that, let's see, well you will once I take these out of the box. Uh, let's see, what have we got here? We've got a ring handled mug. Oh, and this is the turquoise one. So here you have it, turquoise. Let's take a look at this on the close-up cam. This lovely, lovely shade of blue. And this is called a ring handle for what I would say were obvious reasons because it's a perfect circle here. Now this, for me and for Philip and everyone in our family, this is a little bit small for our big fingers. So we don't really have any of these. In fact, before these, we didn't have any of these in our collection. But I'm not actually planning on using these to drink out of because we have plenty of other Fiesta mugs for that. And this one, let me show you on the close-up cam. This one actually has a chip in the top rim right here. I don't know if the camera is going to let you see that or not. There is a chip in the top rim. Normally, I wouldn't seek out pieces that are chipped, uh, but this came as part of this whole set and I wanted all of it. <laughs> and since this has a chip, we won't use it for drinking, but I do have plans for mugs that aren't perfect and I will tell you about that before this video ends. So, okay, let's see, we'll set that back there right now and there's uh, actually we got uh, three of the ring handled mugs the plum one like I said earlier was broken unfortunately the other one that I have here is the evergreen one let's take a look at that on the close-up cam now this one also has some condition issues right here in the rim I hope the close-up cam is showing you that there's a uh, little bit of a chip and kind of a fracture. It's nothing that won't keep this from working for what my plans are though, because we have plans for mugs that do not include drinking coffee. So I'll tell you about that in a little bit. Well, actually, why don't I tell you about it right now? I'm gonna reach over here on this other shelf and I am going to show you this. Okay, so this is the cobalt ring handled mug that came with this set and I already fished it out of the box earlier and put together this little artificial flower arrangement. Let me show you this on the close-up cam. So this is another way to use a ring handled mug without serving coffee in it. I was looking for some sort of vessels to create small artificial floral arrangements with. And then I realized, why don't I just use some of these mugs that we have that we never use? So the shelves that are on either, either side of me here on the set, this is actually uh, one of our bedrooms in our house that's staged right now as a library. And when we move, we're going to stage this as a bedroom. And these bookshelves on either side of us, as well as this back counter, if you've been following our show, you already know, is something that I installed over the last few weeks. And it's still got a few little uh, tweaks that it needs to have done to it before I can call it finished. But we're getting there. Anyway, and to decorate it, I wanted to have some artificial flowers and plants. And I decided rather than buy flower pots, I would just use some of these mugs that we have such an abundance of. So this is one of my big uses for coffee mugs that has nothing to do with having coffee. So I'll tell you how to make these in a video coming up in the not too distant future. Hello. Okay, so let's put that back over here where it was before. And now we've got to get on to the last four items in the box. And those are the dinner plates. So let's check these babies out. Okay, we've got foam wrap around all these. I wrapped all these up in the car before we came home because I just could not leave them in a bag in order to drive them home. So we have the 10 and a half inch classic Fiesta Ware dinner plate. Let's have a look at that on the close-up cam. Now, one thing I noticed right away is right here, I'm not sure if the camera is gonna show this or not. There is a hairline crack in this plate. Okay, and that's unfortunate, but these plates, this color is actually the one color out of these four colors that is still available, and this classic dinner plate is also still available, so I could buy more if I want to. Normally, if I saw that things had a crack, I might pass on them, unless they were a supremely good price, and this, I think, was pretty close to a supremely good price. I mean, you know, a little over $3 per piece, I'd rather have it be more like $2, and if it had a crack, I think maybe 99 cents is what I'd be willing to pay for it. Meanwhile, even when things aren't perfect, like I said earlier, we can still find lots of uses for them. And then I even you know, buy things now that are broken because we can use the broken pieces in the tumbler, like I mentioned earlier. So there we have it. We have a dinner plate in turquoise. I'm so happy to have that. And like I said, just because it has a fracture doesn't mean it can't be useful. We won't eat off of it, but there are definitely other things we can do. I think it would make a great liner for a potted plant. And then, oh, here we go. Okay, we've got the plum dinner plate. 
This is great. Let me show you on the close-up cam. Now this one, as you can likely see, this definitely has some condition issues here on the surface. It is very scratched and it's obviously been exposed to citrus dishwasher detergent, which is why it's got this sort of crazing and the glaze looks really dull in the center of the plate. Now you can clean off things like silverware marks. Silverware marks are not scratches. Silverware marks are those gray lines that get left behind from forks when you're eating off the plate. Those will come off of Fiestaware with a little barkeeper's friend and a soft sponge that that will come right off but actual scratches in the glaze as far as I've been able to determine from people that have even more fiesta wear collecting experience than I do there is no good solution to scratches in the glaze so you just try to avoid them to begin with meanwhile if you wind up with a plate like this let me show you what I like to do with it there is no reason why you can't use this to serve food, but I wouldn't serve dinner with it if the guests were going to see the plate before the dinner went on it because it does look a little wonky. Meanwhile, you could easily serve hors d'oeuvres off of it simply by adding a doily. Let's take a look on the close-up cam. There you have it. See? Scratch plate. It's all hidden by the doily. Now you may be saying, but then the plate's all totally hidden. Well, you can still see the lovely purple color around the outside, and that works for me. So. Doily, if your plate's scratched, this is a good way to go. We could put cookies or appetizers or candy on here. And all people are gonna notice is this lovely purple edge. They won't notice one bit that the plate is scratched. So I think that's a good solution if you have scratched plates. Just put a doily on it. Okay, so let's set these doilies aside now. And we've got a couple more plates to fish out. Coming up next, ooh, evergreen. Okay, these evergreen dinner plates are luscious. Let me show you on the close-up cam. This one's actually in not too bad of shape. It's in much better condition than the plum plate was. This has a little bit of crazing and a few scratches, but for a plate that's 15 years old and was used at dinner time often, I don't think this is in bad condition at all, and I'm very happy to have it because this color is very hard to come by. So, evergreen dinner plate. Alrighty, now we've got one more dinner plate in this 15 piece collection and it's right here at the bottom of the box and you probably already guessed that it is cobalt. So we have this lovely dark blue. Let's take a look on the close-up cam again. Now as you can see this is in similar condition to the plum plate. There's a lot of crazing here in the center and scratch marks and the glaze is dull instead of shiny. So this definitely has some wear. It's been loved in the past, but we're okay with that because we can, you know, cover it up with a doily. Or we may not use it to serve food. We may stack another smaller plate on top of here as part of a display. There are lots of ways to use these plates if they're not perfect that doesn't have to have anything to do with dinner. And speaking of which, I told you earlier that the brand new plum plate was $20 versus a little over $3 for the used plum salad plate. And I actually went online to replacements.com and put all of these items, which they happen to have, into a cart, into a shopping cart, just because I wanted to see if I paid their asking price for newer quality plates like this one, what would all of this have cost? Okay, so I spent $50 on Facebook Marketplace for these 15 pieces, and and when I put them all in the cart on replacements, it was well over $400. So you can see that some of these discontinued colors, especially the plum and the evergreen especially, is very, very expensive. They had evergreen dinner plates and they're asking $80 per plate. Now, if I had no other way to get some evergreen plates and I wanted them in really good condition, I would definitely shop at replacements because everything I bought there has been in excellent condition, even things that were 25 five years old usually still look like they're nearly new. So that's always a good plus. So if you can afford to invest more and you want to have things that are definitely, you know, dinner table worthy, especially at holidays or for guests, then that's the way to go if you can afford it. Otherwise, these slightly less than perfect plates can work just fine. So there you have it. Now we got, let me see, I want to try to scoot to the side so you can see all of this. We got these this is 14 of the 15 pieces, and the 15th piece was that cobalt ring mug that I showed you before. So, there you have it. This is our stash. Let me show you these dinner plates in the close-up cam one more time. I'll get this, oops, I'll get this door. Oh no, 
<laughs> I ripped the doily. Whoops. Okay, so the there you have it. I do not do everything effortlessly and perfectly in every video. Usually I would cut stuff like that out, but I found since I've started leaving that stuff in, it makes me more relatable. <laughs> Who knew? So let me show you these again, these lovely plates. This is a lovely stack of plates. I think all, all four of these colors together look really, really good. And I'm very excited to have these dishes. So thank you very much to the seller on Facebook Marketplace here in San Francisco for letting me acquire these lovely dishes. I'm very happy to have these in our collection and Philip is too. So there you have it peeps. Thank you so much for joining me this afternoon. I really appreciate it. Viva Fiestaware dishes. And hey, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, click that subscribe button right down there. And if you also click the bell symbol, you'll get notifications every time we have a new video to view, including a notification 30 minutes before we have a premiere, just like today's video premiere. So then you can come and join us in the chat room. Woot woot. We'll see you in the chat room on the next video. Ciao.